Hey guys, welcome back to Two Cents. My name is Sadi, and today I am back with more Oshinoko. Last episode, we got the entirety of Ai's story, like beginning from when she became an idol to her unfortunate end. And the shock of that end still sits with me <laughs> currently. Like, I still can't believe that they actually tricked us by killing off a character that at least I thought was going to be a main character in the story. Like, a main participating character in the story. Which I guess she could still technically be. Like, although I think it's pretty obvious that the story will now focus on her children, we could still get, like, flashback scenes between uh, her and her children that we didn't see in the first episode that may, like, influence their decision-making process in some way. Like, I'm really hoping that all that build-up for I doesn't just get, like, washed away now that she's gone. I would like her to still have some type of presence in the story, as opposed to just being the reason why the story is occurring. But only time will tell, really. And I mean, not gonna lie, I'm super excited to see what the kiddos are up to now. If Aqua has pursued acting, if he's like now a renowned like child actor or something, if a Ruby has like joined an idol group or something, you know, like, although I still want some of Ai's presence, the story has definitely moved on to Aqua and Ruby and this whole mystery of like, who is their father? who killed I. So how about we just jump on into this next episode and see what happens. Let's go. Oh, is it the opening? Like the opening sequence? <gasps> oh, now he's on the stage. Huh. Can't be bothered. Oh? What the heck was that? Okay, all of her cast of characters. Oh, she's coming back. Okay. Oh. What happened there? Oh! He's got a... He's at a concert. Oh, they're past. Oh, wow, that was nice. That was really nicely done. Oh, who is that? Oh my god. You get all their struggles. Oh, are they gonna become a group? Oh. <gasps> I love that part. <laughs> okay, that was good. Oh, additional members. Okay. The vitals. Passed. One in 105. Okay, so now an interview. Damn, they're speeding through this. I mean. Oh, but they can't say like, I am so-and-so's daughter. Oh, she didn't make it the first time? This is her round two? Oh, she sucks at singing? Tell me her father's tone deaf. Ooh. Damn, I didn't prepare tissues. I didn't think I was going to get emotional this episode, but... <laughs> あ、ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。ちょっと。
できない。現実はあんなにトントン拍子に行かない。だけど Speaking of, oh, that whole little spiel, like the whole little speech kind of got to me. What did he do? <gasps> what? He lied. What is this, like Adobe project they're working on? What the hell? <laughs> oh my god! He lied. Is it that he's trying to like not have her be like, uh, waiting on this call? That could potentially never happen, or is he trying to mess with her? Or is he trying to like protect her? Does he not want her to get involved in the entertainment sphere? Cause damn, I can't believe that was him. Granted, we didn't hear his voice really, but wow. Yeah. Oh. 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 Okay. That's what I kind of thought. Okay, that's what I kind of thought. He doesn't want her to get involved. Oh, but then she gets scouted. <laughs> you can't do anything about that. That's true. <laughs> They're all like skeptical, like, hmm, that sounds kind of sus. <laughs> oh, she knows! <gasps> She allowed him to cancel it. Oh. This whole cast is living with so much regret. Oh, wow. Oh. My mom was a big fan. Look at him acting. <gasps> oh, oh. Uh. <laughs> Dang, she is really mad. Damn, she just spilled everything. <gasps> Whoa, he's trying to bring down the whole group. <laughs> Dang, he's going to some crazy lengths. Oh. 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 Uh. Bruh, can't. Oh, why? Huh? Oh! <gasps> what? They are? Just cause? Oh. We'll see you. <laughs> I'm not kidding. She's like, I'm for real. This is a binding contract. Hmm? Shake him awake. <laughs> I like her hair. Is this is that his mom or his housekeeper? An editing job. <gasps> They're in middle school. That was in high school. Oh. oh, yeah, that makes sense. Her mo their mom started in middle school, too. Oh. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then he's going to get sucked into the entertaining sphere, of course. <gasps> mm -hmm. I love how... Whenever they show his star, it's like bigger than his eye. It expands bigger than his eye. <sighs> right? Guy. 
kept dreaming for 20 odd years. Oh! <laughs> Cut his speech! Who oh, is his mom? <laughs> oh my god. Ruined his moment. He was having a good moment too. <laughs> oh my god, she's still cleaning up after him. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Mm. Ay, 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 <gasps> I am boom. Of course. Wow, those eyes. All oh, the sparkles. Aqua, 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 aqua. Aqua. What is this? A long time ago. <laughs> no, that's it. That's where it ends. That was such an abrupt ending. Oh. Oh my god, I love these colors. The way they do. Oh, that's the star that's in their eyes. Ooh. Mm. I like this ending song. Oh, this is Queen Bee, isn't it? Bro, I love, I love them. They're so good. Their vocal range is like ridiculous. Ooh, all these strings, strings of fate, or oh, oh man, oh. it's so good. Their range is so freaking good. Hoshino? Does Hoshino mean something? Oh, their life. Just. Oh, he stands up. Oh, this ending is so theatrical. Then just the star right in the center. Damn, that was a good. That was a really good ending way better than like your typical ending where they're just like standing and staring off into the sunset or whatever not that i'm thinking of any specific one so i gotta say i feel kind of thrown off because i wasn't expecting aqua to have like kind of like fallen back from acting because of the way they showed his conviction at the end of last episode i thought that would have been enough to like keep him moving forward but i actually really like the fact that no it wasn't and in fact he's now like trying to like accomplish his goals but like in the background rather than being an actor in the foreground he's being like a editor and like a pd or whatever in the background so he's still he's still like motivated to accomplish his goals he's just not like he doesn't see a, a way for himself to do that. There's a ghost in the room, apparently. But yeah, I like the fact that uh, Aqua did kind of fall back because it's, again, adding more layers of, like, realism where it's, like, a, char a person can have, like, really strong conviction and really strong motivations, but that's not going to be enough, necessarily, to take them to their goals. And then they also kind of showed, like, the flip side of that where with um, Ruby, her her motivation and her conviction are like really really strong 
But there are factors outside of her control, namely Aqua, who, uh, who are impeding her from accomplishing or getting to her goal. But yeah, I thought we were gonna get like, I thought this episode was gonna jump right into them, you know, being an idol, being an actor, and like the mystery of it. But I like the fact that we're getting more of that like struggle within the entertainment district, entertainment sphere. It's not Demon Slayer. I'm loving how many aspects of the entertainment sphere this steer the series this series is actually like showcasing. It's not just like, oh, idols, pretty, shiny, dance, whatever. No, it's like actually showcasing the more realistic struggles of this area. But back into like the actual story and the actual like characters. So now Ruby has signed on to Strawberry Productions. Um, both of the twins have been accepted into this high school one into the performing arts and one into the general education and they've met up with a child actor from their past i guess technically aqua's past so i could kind of see the story going to more a more like conventional route from here on out now that they've kind of introduced more characters but i got proven wrong with this episode so i'd be glad to be proven wrong again with the next one i don't know i'm excited i need the next episode <laughs> I just, yeah, I need the next episode. So let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comments down below. Thank you to our top supporters who help keep the channel running. Pepperoni Pony. Keep Call Mate. Dark Demon 913. Jargo. Stealthy Moogle. Rakiri29. Azale Caldera. Eric Bamberg. Lone Star Pirates. Oni Baku. Lee underscore Ling. Anton. Kamari Abulo. Juan Valdez. Pablali. Matthew Bremer. Mr. Wavels 64. Layla M. Altina Orion. Sunspots. Doubles. Thank you guys so, so much. You guys are awesome. Yay. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we hope to catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.